Hey guys, we're gonna be talking about rigging soft plastic baits today. This is my go-to in the Northeast for fishing estuaries and rivers. Probably the most effective lure to use in the springtime. They will work everywhere in the world. They work for freshwater, saltwater, the work down south for snook, redfish, uh, probably catch fish all over the world. They're a real versatile bait. We're gonna be rigging them on, on a jig head today, but in upcoming videos, we'll show you how to fish them unweighted as well. But one thing I wanna start out by saying with the jig head is it is important that when we rig this bait, it's on the jig nice and straight, okay? So you can see this bait right here, it's properly rigged nice and straight. If it's not and it's bunched up, it's gonna spiral in the water and it's gonna decrease the effectiveness of the bait. Also, it's important to have the right size jig head and hook for the size bait. So we're rigging a six inch split tail today. This is a 4.0 hook and a half ounce jig head. If I was using an 8.0 hook, it would be too big, or if this jig had had really big barbs on it, it would tear the bait. But the, as far as the, the rigging method goes, this will work with uh, you know, a two ounce jig head and a 10 inch bait, or you know, a four ounce jig head and a, a quarter ounce, I'm sorry, a four inch soft bait and a quarter ounce jig head. So for starters, we're gonna take a razor blade and just cut off the tip of the bait here. What that does, it gives us a nice flat, flush surface, so the bait will sit nice and flush against the, the jig head. This is a really good trick. I learned on a, um, somewhere online, I believe it was a freshwater bass fishing blog, but uh, this just increases the life of the bait tremendously. I've actually caught over 50 stripers on one bait without, without having to change the uh, soft plastic body out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the razor blade and we're gonna split the bait. The top of the bait here has got a nice little uh, groove in the center of it. So that's our, our kind of our guidance. So it is important that you do cut in the center of the bait and you have to come out past where the hook would uh, exit the top of the bait. All right, that's right about there. Okay, so I just made a split in the bait like that. I'm gonna explain why we did that in a minute. But uh, the next step is to take your jig head, and this is really important, make sure you go right dead center of the bait. If you're not centered and you're off to the side, you're gonna end up splitting the bait when you slide it up over the jig collars. All right, come out the center of the bait. Now, this is another important step. I'm gonna take some crazy glue. You can buy a big packet of this, uh, crazy glue at Walmart for about a dollar or two and this will save you a lot of money in soft plastics because it will get the bait to stay on there much longer. Now you can see this is rigged perfectly. It's nice and straight. I know it's gonna swim right. It's not gonna spiral in the water. And I wanna elaborate on why we put that split there. So typically, if we didn't split it, there's two problems that would occur. One would be as I'm catching fish, the bait's gonna tear right, right where the exit point of the hook is, okay? So because I, put that split there, the bait won't tear. Every single time I catch a fish, it's not gonna tear out. This, the second thing that this accomplishes too is that if you're sliding the, uh, the jig head up or the, the soft plastic body on the jig head and you don't come out uh, perfect, you're you know, too deep or too shallow, the jig head's either gonna be bunched up or stretched out and it's not gonna swim right. So by putting that slit there, you always know your jig head is gonna be uh, perfectly lined up on the, on the uh, body of the soft plastic bait. I hope, I hope that helps. I'm confident that this is gonna help uh, catch more fish on, on that jig head and it's gonna swim properly. The last thing I wanna show you is uh, it is important to have sharp hooks. You're gonna get much better hookups with sharp hooks. This hook is sharp right now, but if it wasn't sharp or if I'm fishing and I, I snag bottom, which is gonna happen when if, you know, you're trying to fish the jig down deep, so I always carry a hook file on my boat. This is a cheap steel hook file, but this is the best hook fi file out there. It costs probably $5 because it's steel. If you're using it in salt water, it will rust instantly. So this is a good little tool I found. It's called the Hold It Tool Saver. And what you do with this, it's got some foam in there. You put some WD-40 in there. So the foam, it gets absorbed into the WD-40. And you know, the hook file is always stowed in there so it doesn't rust in the boat. If I need to sharpen a hook, I'm gonna take the hook file out and just go down towards the hook point, evenly and equally around the hook, 
and that's going to put a sh uh, edge back on the hook. Hey, thanks for checking out Adventure Streaming, guys. Till next time. Thank you.